hope you all are doing great this video is about what to teach a preschooler especially for those parents who haven't sent your child to the school yet during this pandemic time all the schools are conducting online classes but for these tiny kids especially when they are in nursery or a pre kg or a play group it's very difficult for them to attend the online class so what to do how to teach them at home and this is the most difficult time for us right as a parent we don't know what syllabus we should follow for this tiny one and which method we should follow for this kids whether we should start the playway method or the thematic method right all these things are confused so today i will share you some of the methodologies which you can also try at home and just make use of this before going into the content let me ask you all a question what is the reason for us to send our kids to the school at this age especially when our child is only one and a half year generally i ask this questions to my parents those who are coming for admission for their child the most the majority of answers are like this some of them say is like it's a pre practice before going to the formal school uh, we just want to make our kids a pre practice to come to school and be there the atmosphere they just want to cover up the atmosphere and some of them says for better education yes of course all these points are valid but i would like to share some more important points the reason for which we are sending our kids to the school especially at this age this is the right age for our child to develop their all round skill what are they they are the very important thing is social skill and physical development language development numerical skill cognitive skill development of creative expression these are the very important skills we develop at this particular age especially when your child is in preschool that means a play group child or a pre nursery child so now without sending our kids to the school especially at this age is it possible for us to teach them or develop all these skills yes of course it's possible but you have to do something what is that the very important thing is as a parent we should have patience how do you check that it's very simple if you are watching my video till the end of this program that means you have very good patience if not you are skipping this video and searching for a better one or the best one that means you are lacking patience i'm just kidding don't take it serious so let's see how to teach at home all these skills social skill is a very very important skill especially we teach at this particular age yes if you are sending your child to the school we don't need to worry about that they learn by their own by mingling with all the kids and they are going to face all the problems and they take care of everything but here at home how do we teach them the social development social skill is it possible yes of course So what are the social development social skills they learn at this particular age sharing doing things by their own behaving with others how to behave with others and how to things done by using some words magical words and building their confidence level right all these things are focused on social development skill so take your child to as many as places possible and allow them to mingle with as many as people they can so that way we can develop social skill in our child the second one is physical development of course physical development they develop by their own by doing some kind of activities like fine motor skill as well as the gross motor skill so we can take them to the park and ask them to play as much as possible to develop the physical development right the next one is language development this is also very important 
the, at this age, this is the right age for our child to learn language. We can develop the language by giving some practice of rhymes as well as stories. Make a habit of saying a story every day and also teach them as many as rhymes possible. So that way we can develop language in our child at this age. The next one is numerical skill. This you can do by giving lot of activities, number activities, which I have already uploaded in my channel. You can just see that, which are the ways you should introduce the numbers, how to introduce the numbers and what are the activities for numbers. That method you can implement with your child. The next skill is cognitive skill, understanding the concepts, understanding the condition of weather, reasoning and thinking. So you can use multiple cards, flashcards for teaching cognitive skills like hot, cold, hard, soft, big, small, day, light and comparison between two objects, similarities between two objects and development of aesthetic appreciation. You can also play memory games with your kids to develop this cognitive skill. The last one is development of creative expression. You can give creativity like art and craft. You can ask your child to draw pictures or coloring pictures and especially they can make things out of it. You can also sit along with your child and do those things. And also you can creative thought of thinking, like creative stories. You can ask your child to tell a story by their own imaginations and rhyming with puzzles and building blocks. You can ask your child, you can buy a building block for your child and ask them to play. You can also sit along with them and ask them to make a building blocks by their own imagination and find out your child's exact interest and their creativity. So by keeping all these in mind, you can make a syllabus and also a timetable, a particular timetable. You just call your child on the same time on every day and make a habit of sitting along with him and doing and taking care of all these skills together in a thematic way and you can make your child ready to move to the next level. I hope this video is going to be a useful one for you. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.